let's move on to inductors. So inductors. So you find that most designers and actually even most ex experienced designers, you find that they hardly use inductors on their design, say if they are design designing something and maybe this is lack of fundamental core knowledge in terms of these passive elements. But yet an inductor is a very useful component. Well, an inductor just like a capacitor, it stores energy, but now it stores in a different form. And it's very easy to identify an inductor actually in your, in your design. Well, it, well illustrated by its name, it's called a coil. And you can see like here, we have these coils here, coiling all through the, the ion core there. It's also called choke or, or a reactor. So they're used to store energy and we, have, we, use, them in, we use them in designs to supply to supply energy that maybe they needed, like to smoothen out the output voltage so that we can have like constant flow at the output. That's the main work of, of the inductors. You always find them being used for power, for power, at power outputs mostly so that they can smoothen the output of the power supply. Again, they also come in two packages, SMT and THT. Some few pointers here. They do not have polarities, just like resistors. So you can, you can connect them either way. The reference designator of inductors in a PCB is L. So when you open your PCB and see L like motherboard, that's an inductor, straight inductor. So say even if so, if you find L is blown up, you can just look the induct, just go find that inductor and replace the L in your motherboard. Thank you.